As of January 5th of 2025, there are currently 41 volcanoes which are actively erupting around the planet, a total which is one less than were erupting last week. Out of all of these volcanoes, the strangest of the group can be found within Tanzania via the towering Ol Doinyo Lengai volcano. Unlike every other volcano which erupts lava that is primarily composed of silicon dioxide, Ol Doinyo Lengai's lavas only have 3% silicon dioxide with a majority composition of carbonate minerals. Also enriched in alkali elements and rare earth elements, these natrocarbonatite lavas it produces quickly change from a dark black color to white within 100 hours of being erupted. And now, here are this week's top this week's top stories volcano-related news stories. In Iceland, harmonic tremor, almost certainly indicating the movement of magma was detected at a volcano which has not erupted in more than 1,000 years. Meanwhile, in Tonga, the home reef volcano has dramatically increased in size and shape during the last two weeks, as it added 7.39 acres of new land. And, in what is this week's top story, in Ethiopia a total of 21,000 people have been evacuated due Ethiopian volcano update to a presumably shallow 35-kilometer or 21.7-mile long dike underlying several towns and communities which is at risk of imminently erupting. This magma dike is located between the outskirts of the Fentail and Dufan volcanoes, and could have a composition of either basalt or rhyolite, with legitimate evidence for either. As this magma has continues to rise since December 23, 2024, it has repeatedly pushed over lying rock upwards, generating nearly 40 centimeters or 15.7 inches of ground deformation, forming large cracks in the ground, and generating 69 magnitude 4 and 5 range earthquakes. Activity has seemingly escalated with each new day in terms of overall seismic energy released, resulting in Ethiopia's largest earthquake to strike since 1989, a magnitude 5.7 striking at 3.52 a.m. on January 4. That earthquake followed the appearance of a series of vents 8.4 kilometers north-northeast of the Fentail volcano which generated hydrothermal explosions and created mud volcanoes. Now, it remains to be seen if a volcanic eruption will end up occurring, but if one does occur in my interpretation either a cinder cone forming basaltic eruption or lava dome forming rhyolite eruption are two possibilities. While a volcanic eruption not occurring is still the most probable outcome by far, the immediate vicinity of the lengthy magma dike is still in danger of landslides and building collapses since regional structures are not made to withstand this level of shaking. With more earthquakes likely to follow and with 30 structures having collapsed and hundreds more damaged, it makes perfect sense that so many people have been evacuated by the government. Liusufiel unrest meanwhile, in Iceland, since mid-September 2024, an elevated level of earthquakes have been occurring adjacent to Griotervatten Lake. In the time since hundreds of earthquakes have occurred and scientists have debated whether these events were tectonic or volcanic in origin. After all, this lake is located within the Liusufiel volcanic complex, which contains a number of young lava flows although has not erupted since the year 960 CE forming this 12.27 square kilometer lava field. And yet, no ground deformation indicating shallow magma has been detected. Well, on January 2, 2025 we finally got our answer, as at 6 a.m. on that day a brief harmonic tremor was detected. This type of signal is almost always characteristic of magma movement, which I interpret to mean the following. In this section of Iceland the crust is 25 kilometers thick, and I suggest that small volumes of magma are currently intruding to depths of 15 to 20 kilometers, which is unlikely to trigger an eruption anytime soon if it remains at these deep depths. These types of deep intrusions are fairly common at volcanoes, and only rarely end up resulting in new eruptions. And, in Tonga, despite the fact that the eruption home reef expansion of home reef appears to be waning and likely to soon end, the last two weeks have seen a remarkable expansion and change in shape of what is the world's newest volcanic island. This Decide Island began its latest eruption on December 2, 2024, and in the 35 days since two lobes of lava have flowed to the southwest and northeast. This has changed the L-shaped island to now look more like a bulky rectangle. 
You might have also noticed that some portions of the island were reclaimed by the sea, which I owe to water turbulence created upon fresh dacite lava entering the ocean since that created explosions. Here is a quick list of all of the world's list of erupting volcanoes, volcanoes which are currently erupting. Additionally, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting as of the recording of this video on January 4th of 2025. As a final note, I would like to thank my patron Tarani Realta for supporting this channel.